Man, what's going on, guys? Merc Squad TV here, and in today's video, man, we're going to be talking about Season 4 coming out uh, yesterday, I believe. And also, I've been hearing rumors that they added third person into the game, man, all right? Now, it's been kind of 50-50, bro, so I don't know if y'all trolling or not, but if you motherfuckers trolling, man, I swear to God, bro, I swear to God, man, we're going to have a fucking problem, man. Third person been long awaited since, what, Season 3 Reloaded? They took it out. And we haven't heard any word from Call of Duty since, man. We boycotted the game. We threatened to sue him if we had enough people sign the polls, okay? And uh, honestly, man, this is pretty much the last draw, bro. So honestly, man, I'm going to press start on here. And we're going to see live, everybody watching, if this shit is in the game or not, man. If it's not, bro, all hell break loose, bruh. You, it, it, a war is coming, bro, and I'm not talking about war zone, bro. Everybody get ready. We're going to storm the motherfucking Infinity War offices just like they fucking uh, stormed the damn, uh, what, what, what's that, the uh, Supreme Court or something like that. So, like I said, man, this shit ain't in here. We marching, bro. We fucking marching 2,000 deep. Get all your brothers and sisters, your moms, your dads, your grandmas. Get all the motherfuckers, rally them up, bro, because we fucking marching, bro. If they didn't add this shit in here, and if you motherfuckers trolling, bro, man, I'm telling you, bro, I'm be fucking pissed, man. So here we go. Press start. All right. Let's go. Load an update. Checking for update. Loading player stats. All right. Everything seems to be working fucking fine. Now, before I could test any of this stuff out, I wanted you guys to know that I had to re-download all the damn data files so that means install the multiplayer packs the co-op pack and also the warzone pack i don't know why after every fucking update this game still isn't fixed on that issue to where if you have the disc version at least on playstation 4 or ps5 you have to re-download all the map packs or not all the map packs all the multiplayer packs fix the fucking game call of duty already we're having fucking problems already so as you can see, the first thing that you do, the first thing that you see when you press start to play this game is you get introduced with a new bundle that nobody really gives a shit about. All right. Let's see what else they got. This guy who's been in here from Mon Warfare. Nobody gives a shit. A fucking train. Wow. Okay. I'm very impressed. And in a code of conduct like we done broke some fucking rules or something. Fuck you. All right. Now. Home. We're going to go to what's hot, man. You guys saying third person's here. Usually it's under what's hot. Uh, I don't see nothing here. Battle map search and destroy. That's that new shit that they added. Showdown 24-7. Not seeing anything. We're going to go to fucking... Uh, we're going to go to games. Yo. You motherfuckers trolling, huh? Y'all some funny ass motherfuckers, man. <laughs> you third person yo i bet you it's some fucking hating ass first person motherfuckers coming in there fucking trying to troll and shit talking about fucking third person in the game man if it, i swear to gosh if it's fucking not bro and i fucking downloaded this fucking 19 gigabyte fucking uh update bro i'm gonna be fucking pissed bro so as you can see same shit that we saw on what's hot gunfight there's no fucking third person here dude you fucking trolling ass motherfuckers man dude Listen, all we want is third person, bro. There's no reason that you little pieces of shit have to fucking troll to try to make a fucking point, dude. You think you're so fucking funny, bro. All we want is one fucking game mode, bro. So we're going to go down to multiplayer. Ground war, invasion, hardcore, private match. There's nothing here. There's no third person. Even after season... Yo. Yo, grab y'all torches. Grab y'all pick pitchforks. Grab your marching boots, bro. We we storming the headquarters, bro. At this point, we're fucking storming the fucking headquarters, bro. Rally the fuck up, man. Let's get this fucking petition going, dude. Because it's about fucking time we get this shit ready, man. Even gonna... Like, fucking 18 different game modes, bro. They couldn't fucking add third persons. Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Domination. All this fucking shit, bro. No fucking third person, dude. All these fucking game modes, no fucking third person, bro. Wait, hold up. They added third person in the quick play? What? What? Bro, how long have we been asking for third person just to be in the quick play tab, bro? Like, this is what, this is the problem, dude. 
Why didn't they say anything, though? Why didn't they say anything? So if I just select it, it's going to automatically put me in third-person game modes? Did they update any of the maps? That's my question. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do all that in a video because I don't really have that, that much time. It's going to take too long to try to figure out if they added the new maps or not, depending on the rotation. But let me know in the comments section if you guys did know that they added third person, if they added the new maps in rotation, or if they just kept the same old dry-ass maps from Season 3 Reloaded. Now, I mean, this is a big, man, this is a big, a big, a big fucking win, man, for third-person community players, man. Shout out to you motherfuckers, man. Boycotting this fucking game at first, bruh. Boycotting the fucking game, bro. Showing Call of Duty that you want to fucking take away a core game mode that people like, then you're going to fucking lose player base and you're going to fucking lose money, dude. Because honestly, if we did not hit those two areas, this wouldn't be in the fucking game, bruh. If we didn't fuck them up in money and their player base, this wouldn't be in the fucking game, man. And the fact that, look how shitty this fucking company is, bro. The fact that they put this in the game, it doesn't say anything about this. We went over the season four release notes about the shit that they were adding. They didn't say anything about this third person shit coming into quick play playlist, okay? I mean, it's good that now we can enjoy the fucking game finally, but... It's just ridiculous that you don't tell us nothing about this shit. So, honestly, this is a tutorial. If you do not know how to play third person, or if you feel like third person was not added, as of Season 4, Call of Duty Modern for 2, third person has been added. Pretty much it looks like it looks like it has been added. Permanently into Modern Warfare 2 because I don't see why they would take this out of quick play There's no fucking reason of why this will be taken out of quick play Okay, because before as you guys remember it was under always what's hot or featured So now when you go to quick play Playlist filter and you scroll all the way of course It's the fucking last fucking game mode out of all these shitty fucking game modes. They put the third person last Okay, this is how they fucking care about us Okay but besides that, if you scroll all the way to fucking 18 or you press fucking left from 1, it will put you at 18. Uncross all the other shitty fucking game modes. Only select third person and you should be able to play third person from now on. I mean, honestly, it's sad. It's, it's like they're trying to kill this game mode on purpose because they fucking put it in the game without notifying anything, putting anything in the patch notes. I mean, that's fucking p bullshit, okay? Then on top of that, like I said, uh, no feedback at all. No feedback, okay? If they have updated the maps, that's definitely another big win for us because we wanted the fucking upgraded maps. But I can doubt that if they put it in quick play, I can doubt that they add any of the new maps, okay? And some of the maps, I'm not even worried about them adding because some of the maps were ass. But I wish they would take out Museum and add the other two smaller maps that people like like the lighthouse and then the new one that they added was showdown 24 7 i think that's a decent map for 6v6 uh from what i've been looking at i haven't played it yet but from what i've been looking it looks like it's a decent 6v6 map unlike these other big ass fucking maps that they keep adding so yeah so this is a tutorial man remember guys it's not under it's not under fucking what's hot or featured man it's not under that in order to go to third person bruh you have to go to quick play first or press square to filter, okay? And then, once you press on it, you're going to have to scroll all the way to the right or tap left one time and select third person, okay? So, guys, let me know in the comments, man. Do you feel like this is a cheap way Activision tried to save their asses uh, from getting sued or getting hit with a lawsuit? Uh, by putting this in the game without any type of uh, us knowing that it was going to be in the game for Season 4? Like, or do you feel like uh, this was intentional and this is what they, what they planned to do from the start? Honestly, if you guys know me, you should already know my answer to that question. I feel like this was a quick and sneaky way to put this in the game without 
making it seem like they removed it in the first place. Because, I mean, like I said, all it took was a simple feedback was saying, hey, we're going to add it to quick play. That's all it took. And we wouldn't be sitting here fucking making these rage videos and getting mad and shit, you know? But it's just ridiculous, man, that when they take the fucking game mode out and they don't rely or they don't give us no fucking feedback whatsoever, ever, okay? Already took it out of Warzone. Now you take it out of fucking multiplayer, okay? And don't even get me started. We still have that uh, Nick Merck shit going on, you know? So a lot of other people are still boycotting the game after that shit, which, I mean, I understand that fucking the pride shit shouldn't be in fucking video games, period. Unless you're going to 100% be a game about politics, you shouldn't be involved in specific politics. Keep the fucking pride shit. Keep everything else out of the fucking game. We just want to play fucking Call of Duty. Not fucking have to worry about fucking uh, somebody uh, being mad because they're fucking uh, getting uh, called racist words or fucking... Uh, pride shit that has nothing to do with fucking call of duty man honestly dude and there's a bunch of videos out there that show that even activists don't even care about the fucking pride shit because for one they censor it in other countries in other countries if you rock the call sign they will censor it in other countries so if they care about pride so much why are they so uh worried about censoring it right right Okay, and then another thing is, is don't forget, but Activision was also a part of a big scandal. They had a lot of sexual abuse going on in their own offices. So how are you trying to push pride and you can't even push uh, proper uh, work treatment in your fucking work environment? Tell me that, man. Tell me that. But you see, man, this is why it's important to do research, man, and to look up, man, do homework, man. Don't believe everything that these motherfuckers throw at you, man, because you can't believe everything that these fucking people or these companies do or say. You might think that they're fucking good in the long run, but at the end of the fucking day, all that matters is the fucking dollar bills that they fucking make, man. That's why we have this black cell bundle returning again, okay? That's why we have fucking... Uh, all these operator bundles at 24 fucking dollars and them even trying to push them to fucking 30 fucking bucks. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. If this was a game coming out on the uh, PlayStation 3 with that type of shit, it would never fly, man. But it's because the kids of the future who play these games, they're so influenced in the microtransactions because it's more of an online-based game. More like back in the day where it was just... You know, you sit down with a couple buddies on the couch and play the game that now they want to shove it in your face, man. And now they want to make services and stuff where you're paying a damn monthly fucking fee to play a goddamn game, man. I mean, Call of Duty's doing it sneakily. Fortnite's doing it. You buy the battle pass every month or every time they upgrade the game. If you think about it, that's another bill. You're paying every month for a battle pass to unlock stuff. You can't even enjoy stuff no more, man. And honestly, man, it's we did a good job standing up, man. I'm pr I'm proud of the third person community, man. Give you guys, give yourself a hand clap, man. Give yourself a hand clap, man. We did it, bro. That's all we gotta do is stand up, man. And when we stand up, we get fucking results, man. Good job, third person community, bro. If you guys are interested, man, listen. If you guys are interested, man, listen. I'm gonna show you. Join my motherfucking crew on Call of Duty third person, bro. Let's wreck these motherfucking noobs, bro. Let's wreck these noobs, all right? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, man. Let's see. Uh, Where do I go? Social, social. Yo. Bro. Join my crew, man. All right, this is this is the crew, the gods of war, man. Listen, listen, yo, bro. We, we listen, man. Y'all got to be good, though, man. We can't be getting thrashed out here, bro. We got to keep the name alive. All right. So listen, if y'all feel like y'all up to the task and y'all want to join the group. All right. Send me an invitation, man. Listen, I'm going to open up the crew. I'm going to open it up. It's on privacy right now, but I'm going to open it up so people can join. And when you join, bro. You better be good, man. That's all I'm saying, man. Because if you suck, 
man, listen, bro, we we bringing you back to uh, we bringing you back to story mode, and we bringing you back in the. You got to represent, man. You got to represent. So listen, if you interested, man, this is the crew information right here. Okay, the crew is called the Gods of War. Just type that in, or you can type in the number three zero five six seven five seven, and then from there you can go down and you can see my profile right here. All right. Once you see my profile, send your boy a fucking friend request, boy. We gonna fuck these motherfucking noobs up, man. So like I said, man, now that they added third person back in the game, it's on and motherfucking popping, bro. Add your boy up. Let's play some motherfucking games. Let's fuck some motherfuckers up. Let's have a good motherfucking time, man. And if this shit happens again, we rage, we, we storm in the motherfucking Infinity War Activision headquarters. Straight the fuck up, bro. They take this shit out. Yo, we gonna meet up somewhere, bro. And we storm in the fucking headquarters, bro. With pitchforks, knives, uh, granddads, grandmas, all that shit. Gather all your family, bro. Real shit. Good job, third person community, man. Good shit, man. And I appreciate you guys in the comment sections, man, letting me know that it's on, letting me know that it's back, or keeping up with the feedback, you know, everybody replying with the comments on how they feel. Listen, man, as you guys can see, I read almost all the comments, man. If I miss some, I apologize, but usually I try to go back and make sure I didn't miss any so that I can make sure everybody answer, everybody's question is answered. So like I said, man, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this is going to be a permanent change, if you feel like it's going to be a permanent change, or if it's not going to be a permanent change. And if you feel like Call of Duty is basically uh, stepping into the better direction for the next Call of Duty coming out. Because honestly, man, listen, if the next Call of Duty ain't got no third person, bro, we ain't playing that shit. Straight the fuck up, man. So listen, Activision or whoever, if y'all, you're listening to this shit, if y'all want uh, more players to play your shit, Add, add a simple third person mode that's it but other than that man like and subscribe man we hustling up moving up on subscribers appreciate the feedback we're gonna start doing some live streams i know i've been saying that a long time ago but we're gonna start doing them start uh connecting with the community and everything and then like i said man any news comes out with them removing this shit stay tuned to merc squad tv man because we're gonna be on it we're gonna be the first motherfuckers on the shit Straight the fuck up, man. I'll be the first one to post something about third person not being in the game, man. And it will have commentary. I've been seeing a lot of people post videos and shit talking about third person. And all you see is them motherfuckers playing the game. Motherfucker, talk about the shit. We don't want to see you playing third person, bro. We want to see why the fucking reason. Motherfucker, I, I watched the video. And the guy specifically titled his video why third person was removed the real reason why third person was removed you click on the video you just watching the motherfucker play bro getting a couple kills and shit they ain't remove it because you getting a couple kills you idiot commentate on why it been removed man sit there and put a fucking video up with no damn commentary talking about the real reason why third person was removed clip bait and bullshit man we need to stop that shit too on youtube man but like I said, man, it's a bunch of things that we can target. But I'm just glad, man, that we was able to come together and make this shit happen, man. Good fucking job, third person community. Shout out to you guys, man. You guys are the real MVPs, bro. I like it when I can post a video, man, and you guys are already on it. You guys are doing everything in your power, reaching Twitter, reaching uh, other players on YouTube, standing up for what's fucking right, man. That's what we're here for, man. And with that being said... I'll see you motherfuckers in the next one. Peace.